Welcome back guys, Crypto for Life channel. Today I would like to show you the educational video, how do I draw the FIP, uh, what I show you in every single video. Uh, so you can just copy, paste the settings and use totally for free in your analysis. Let's dive in. First of all, guys, I highly recommend you go and check uh, just the basic two educational video about uh, the FIP. All links will be on the description below in this video. How uh, to use the FIP with the basic settings, you know, how to use the FIP uh, with the zones. And today I would like to show you the third video. How do I uh, use the FIP and mark 27 block, which I showed you in my videos for accumulation. First of all, uh, this zones uh, works even on the one hour time frame on four hour time frame on uh, weekly time frame i just did my personally for me it's not a rule you know it's not some magic pill it's just my experience i share with you uh, what i found what it's worked personally for me i'm not telling you this is a magic key you know for your analysis no i just uh, use this view these settings which help me a lot and for investments i use the weekly time frame Local middle term targets, I can use the daily time frame, 12 hour time frame. Let's take a look on Bitcoin. How to remind you can find out at the highest point. Here's the top. Take a look where we find out the support. Support can be by volume, for example, when we can see the big volume, or we can see the consolidation. So it means this zone it's more than okay for both camps. Distribute or accumulated coins. So here is a main sell-off, for example, it's four hour time frame on a Bitcoin, uh, just current price. Drop it down buyers absorb all this drop from 41 370 we it just in the same candle we pump it to 42 768 consolidation test 23 low by feep drop it down and collapse it down to 27 block we can with a weak candle or without weak candle we can drop out of uh, this uh, zone or trade inside how to trade and how to take a look at the best uh, levels inside this block i also will show you how the price respect the level if we determine the FIB correctly so here we bounce from 27 block and retest once again zero level so this candle every single candle it's four hour time frame now we move from level to level you know so this zone for accumulation for intraday trades zone to fix some profits it's going to be 38 0 0.5 61 all this FIB will be done when we broke first level let's take a look examples uh, here weekly time frame one inch how the price respect the level top drop find a support bounce find a rejection and we mark this like a zero level find a rejection exactly at 38 level by FIB we walk here sweep liquidity trade it here bounce so sometimes uh, we can see uh, weeks like this one how to take a look this is just a fake out you just go into line chart and find out here yes we got a volume but on line chart we are in downtrend it's just a liquidity hunt we drop it down from level to level here find out support and consolidation around zero level drop it down test 18 level by feet and we perfectly come back inside 27 block 27 block usually on a weekly time frame like you know from my videos it's uh, the best time for accumulation it's not some specific price it's all this zone so for one inch it's for example 13 cents till uh, 68 you know all this same period take a look how the price respect the levels again here on a weekly time frame i remind this block like accumulation because the wheels need a timing you know for accumulation and usually it can take uh, even from one year till two years uh, like one inch we can trade from the first such we can trade here 609 days so we're still in accumulation then on a weekly time frame you to remind just uh, zones where it's more than effect to fix some profit here's example on cardano highest point order flow down find out the main support this one bounce and collapse it down once again inside 27 block here's example of mobox we got a top we got a drop support fake out you know because we not count the weak candle you know weak candle is around only weak it's a 69 percent we come back hold the line at zero level pay respect 23 come back here perfect test 18 level FIP and consolidation inside this block take a look on injective this is uh, just a perfect example here's a top here's a drop find a support 
consolidation, test 0 0.5, and come back to 27 block, accumulation block. Then you can leave this FIB, you know, and walk from level to level. For example, on injective, we bounce from 27 block, hold the line at zero level, bounce, find the rejection at 0.61 level by FIB, trade it here in consolidation. It's a weaker time frame, one, two, three, four weeks in a row. Consolidation, continuation, two, 1.61 level by FIB. Here we got a consolidation again. Take a look on Solana. Here's a top, here's a drop, find a support main reaction to almost 38 level by FIB, leave liquidity pool and come back inside 27 block and going out of 27 block here uh, on the FTX crash. Here's a rejection even below the 27 block, trade it here and going out of this block find a rejection at 23. Also, how to work with this block when we came in to this block? It, it's not necessary, so when we touch first time 0 0.618 level by FIB, it's time to buy aggressively. No, what you can do, if you determine this block, you know, 27 zone and 18 level, what you can do, you can use the FIB inside this block, mark the first level to 27 level and to 18 level by FIB market here take a look how the price react and pay respect the levels inside this range so we got a range and price drop to 38 level by feet find us main support at 61 then find a support and pay respect 0 0.5 0 0.5 always always of course the best entry it's a, a perfect test of 27 level minus 0 0.27 it's the best entry, you know, on a weekly time frame. Uh, even on a four hour time frame, this is the best entry. So here, even for, on four hour time frame, uh, if you buy in here, 13%. Uh, but it's not necessary, so we will drop to this area. No, that's why you can't start accumulate inside the range from 0 0.5, 61. So here, $1.39, $1.18. So it's this all block, it's accumulation block, but inside this block, this levels is the best one. Also, if you use the fee, for example, you can use like this one and you don't know, are you put it correctly to the penny or not? First of all, what you can do, you can choose the fee, this one, use the magnet, this one, from this one to this one. You determine correctly till a penny or if you need to extend right, you just take a look on this matrix here on the left corner, the data. For example, here, the highest point was uh, $3.10.10. Here's a $3.10.11. What I can do, press two times, use coordinates here and change the settings, right this way. So this correctly till penny. That's why it's always up to you, you know, when to start accumulate. All this block is more than okay for accumulation. That's why I use the FIB. Then I use my customer gear set to determine what the wells do in this area, you know, when they uh, accumulate aggressively. For example, I can take a look on market mode, money power. We came into 27 block. I can see the wells accumulate based on direction on the weekly. Wells accumulate on the weekly. We're in depression zone. We're in depression zone. I understand it's okay time to buy Cardano, for example, or any other coins. Take a screenshot or make a pause on this video and add this and add this numbers into your FIB. Color you can choose uh, by your own, uh, depends of your uh, TAM, color TAM on uh, TradingView. Guys, I hope you like this video. All content uh, in Telegram channel, all content on my YouTube channels always will be totally for free. If you like this video and want to support this channel, you can just press thank button under this video and leave the, some tips or just share this video with your friends so more people can watch this channel and join into our community. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.